Hey everyone, Wonderbots here, and welcome to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Uh, this is the 3D remaster? Remake? Remake. Uh, it's, I guess, Nintendo just randomly decided to do. I'm not sure why they picked this one, of all things. I would have expected Link to the Past first. But I guess we kind of got that out of Cadence of Hyrule, kind of, sort of. So this kind of makes sense. Anyway. Uh, let's see, so I've played parts of this game before. Specifically, this is one of the first games I ever owned. I... Ah, bring us back. Uh, I don't <laughs> want to see the intro over and over animated again. Animated intro again. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I appreciate it that it loops, but still. Mm -hmm. um, now, I had grown up, not with any of the 2D ones, but I had played Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, mm -hmm. a little bit of Skyward Sword. Yeah, and I didn't, actually. So, we started with the Game Boy. Uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Color. And so, I don't remember, I think we got Pokemon, but when we bought my brother's Game Boy, it came packaged with Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. And my brother was never that interested in it, but I tried to play it, and I got fairly far. I think it got to the, like, the fifth or sixth dungeon before I had to stop, because I was lost and confused. And was just wandering around spinning my wheels for hours. And how old were you probably at the time? Like seven, eight? Ten. Ten. Tops. I was never that passionate about finishing games when I was younger. The only reason why I even finish games nowadays is because I'm it's my job. <laughs> and even then it's hard. Anyway, ugh, twice as much damage, no heart drops. Let's pass on that. Anyway, what is our name? Our name. Oh no. Is Lonk. What? You thought it was gonna be worse? <laughs> Well, you've done Lunk, and you've done... You probably wouldn't do Lank. That doesn't no. sound right. No, I do Lunk or I do Lunk. It's one or the other, but mm -hmm. I usually do Lunk. I don't know why. Relief! I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must be feeling a little woozy. You're in Kohulin Island. You... <laughs> Follow the lane south to reach the beach where I found you. Since you washed ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area. So, be careful, okay? Well, Lonk, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Taran. Hope you're feeling better. What? So, it's like Talon and Malon, but it's yeah. Taran and Marin. How, do I, how did I know your name? You think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on the back of this shield. You got your shield back. Hold R to repel enemies with it. Oh, man. Start with the Hylian shield. This is such, like, a weird magical game for me. I love the fact that they remade it, remade it in this style. I wasn't big on the uh, Link Between Worlds style, but this is so, like, legit OG Zelda. I, I love it. I would love it if they remade uh, maybe the, even the original Legend of Zelda, but definitely a Link to the Past, and then the ones on the Game Boy Advance. And maybe Minish Cap? Minish Cap had such a lovely art style, though, I'd almost rather the Cadence of Hyrule people tackled that instead. 
Anyway. So you got your shield back. Yep. No. Oh, yeah, some other stuff like this washed up on the beach. If you go look, watch out for monsters. Ever since you showed up, Lonka, I've seen them all over the place. Also, don't you dare touch my daughter. Also, there's a palm tree. Oh. Oof, this looks heavier than heavy. Your current strength won't cut it. Wait, so you're going to need to get the power gauntlets before you're going to yep. be able to lift those? Yep. Cuckoo. Not this. Wait, Whammo. that's a telephone? Yeah. What's it doing on a tree? I don't remember. Old man Alira. Hello, it's me, Alira. Alira. Ask me if anything about the island. If you get lost, give me a call. You know, there's a library in the village that might have some good information for you. Talk to you later. Click. It's the hint system. Uh... I only vaguely remember that. Now, that looks like a fox over there. So, interestingly and... enough, this is actually tile-based. I... I actually am restricted in how I move. Mm. That's very strange. Oh, this is cool. I like this little map. Uh, but, like, I... I... Move left, right, up, and down. I can only do the cardinal directions. Mm -hmm. I'm not used to that. That'll take some getting used to. Okay, right, and there's no go faster button. Talk to everyone. Uh, yeah. Grandma Yahoo? Yahoo! I'm fine, and you? All right, just walk away from me. Oh, Don't say a look word. at his mustache. <laughs> oh, he's the one with the phone. How to say? Please call outside. It seems that old man Ulrira is a shy guy in person. Oh, what? What's a chomp chomp doing here? Chain chomp? Chain chomp. Uh, you know, this is the only game I think he, uh, he shows up in. <laughs> I hear when you're running out of hearts, you better go find a big fairy. Why? I have no idea. I'm just a kid. I heard that if you, you can press minus to look at the island map. Not only that, you can stick pins in it with A and remember stuff with X. I don't remember what that mean, uh, what they mean by that. This should be the library. Yep. No. Atlas of Koholint, Koholint Island. You can look up the name of a place. Do you want to look at this map? Look. Oh, Gaponga Swamp and the mysterious forest. Oh. Pothole Field? The Animal Village. Rapids Ride, Tal Tal Heights. Yep. Huh. Canalette Castle. Martha's Bay. Interesting. Properties of Warp Points. Read the book? Nah. And we need to ram that first. This is the bookshelf. What? You could see that? Okay. Secrets of the Whirling Blade. Yes. This is just going to tell me about spinning. The whirling blade technique has been handed down from generation to generation by the family of the hero. To use it, hold down B and build up your power. When you have enough, you can release it. Can you master this? Yeah. So, this is just the tutorial. If we need to do it. I mostly remember how to You don't to play. even have your sword, though. You're going to need that beach. I know where it is. Yep. Oh, I see, and they give you a bunch of Octorox so that you can focus on hitting those back. Ow. Yep. I always loved the fact that you could push the spinies out of the way. <laughs> I don't remember what they were called, but anyway, sword. You seem to know precisely where to go. I mean... Oh, is this Kapora Gabora? <laughs> no, just now. <laughs> so, you're the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It's said that you cannot leave this island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Hoo-hoo! So, 
like I said, have played parts of this before. I've played this intro over and over again. Because mm -hmm. as a kid, I didn't really care about beating the game. But I'd start over frequently. You found your sword. It must be yours because it has your name engraved on it. You can swing it with B to attack any enemies in your path. Dun. Dun, dun, dun. There goes the music. Yep. I'm gonna get my stab on. <laughs> Wander around for a bit. Oh, a monkey. Yep. Those monkeys are a problem. Oh. Well, they're just throwing coconuts at you. Yep, they're jerks. Can't oh, get you that up the... until we get the power bracelet. Yep. yep. I don't remember if there's anything to like sequence break some of these. I know there's like old tricks that you can do. Mm -hmm. But. Ooh, a heart. You need that. Yep. Nope, oh, you got it. But it has been such a long time. What? Yeah. This one's there's one of alligator? the weirder Zelda games. Welcome to Sale's House of Bananas. I'm Sale, and this is my house. Actually, my hobby is collecting rare and unusual canned food. What? My brother's an artist, so I guess strange hobbies run in the family. <laughs> strange hobbies. Okay, so yeah. Pretty much find canned food, bring it to him, and I think he I think he gives us bananas, which we use for the monkeys. Maybe. Let's see. So yeah, I remember a number of weird tricks, but I'm gonna try and play this kind of legit, just because. I I know like you can rob the shop in some other things, but that gets kind of wonky. So I'm not going to. Oh, hi. Oh, there's a hole? Yep. I don't remember, nope, okay. Oh, that's... I know, I know you can go into something. Nah, those are just pitfalls. I, don't know. I think the special holes are the ones that you find under rocks, typically. Oh, dungeon. But we need the key first. Um. Huh? Keyhole here. This is tail keyhole. I wonder if you get it from some kind of spine creature. Mm. The one with the tail? No, I think we just get it from the mysterious woods. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I, this is generally why I try not to play games beforehand. Because... I, like, have ha a functional half-knowledge of everything, and it actually is kind of weirdly uncomfortable as a result. It's not so bad. It's just weird. Whoa! Yep. Well? Yeah, there's a lot of, like, weird secret items all over the place. Ah, heart piece. You got a piece of a heart. Press plus to open the subscreen and see. Yeah, I've got it. But yeah, like uh, I like all the all Zelda games. I'd say the top-down Zelda games were a little bit more aggressive about their secrets. Mysterious forest, moblins ahead, and they're not friendly. Because I know Ocarina of Time had a number, but they like to just hide stuff all over the place oh. in these. Ow! Whoo! Whoo! Brave lad, on your quest to wake the dreamer. Welcome to the mysterious forest. Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted Koholint Island. I'm afraid you might find it a trite difficult to leave the island while the windfish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the Tail Cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this fo forest. The windfish is watching. Hoo-hoo! So the windfish will give you the... proper push, I suppose, to get away from the island, maybe? Yeah, kinda. You got a guardian acorn. Reduce the damage you take by half. Oh, oh. that's new. Huh. So it's a temporary boost. Or so alternatively, I can just walk around with my shield out and pretty much crush everything. Oh, a tanuki? That's a raccoon. My nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. 
dust and powder. <laughs> You're going to be lost thanks to me. <laughs> Screw that raccoon. Oh, one of the slimes. Yep. So he yes. intentionally got you lost. Yep. Like I said, screw that raccoon. <laughs> oh, these slimes are so cute in this version. Oh, they have I good love lives. it. They're a lot easier to fight too now that I'm not stuck to a grid. I mean, I kind of am. Ooh, but what does not that too say? Much. Beware of floors with cracks. Don't get too comfortable on them. Man, I am going to have so many series running simultaneously right now. <laughs> like, I've recorded, what, four new series today? Admittedly, I've ended one of them. Mm -hmm. And the other is on weird hiatus until... Okay, I think this is the entrance? I don't know. Um, Wait, did that respawn very swiftly? Yeah. Huh. Uh, so, like the old games... Uh... Oh, we came from Pretty this much way. when you leave the tile, they come back? Yeah, more or less. So, like the old games, the moment you, like, switched off the screen, everything would come back. Mm -hmm. Look at all those angry bats. At least the crystals are fragile enough. Mm -hmm. Kind of meaningless to me, but though. But you still won't be able to open the no. chest. And we can't do anything with you that yet. barred until you yep. can get through that. Yeah. So for anybody that's going to be like, I wonder if you really played this game before? The answer is yeah, but very much not oh, recently. That? Damage bonus. Piece of power. So now I do more damage. But not enough to crush, crush the rocks. Nope. No, we need, uh, I think we need bombs for those. Mm-hmm. Either bombs or the power bracelet. I forget. It's one or the other. That guy has a shield of his own, too. Not for long. Wait a minute, I'm... Oh! Very... <laughs> You've still got plenty of pep. Come see me when you feel like you can't go on. I thought I heard the bong bong of the tanuki, though. Maybe. Up, up that way. Ah. Oh! Wait, they slimed you! I do wish it wouldn't tell me about these every, every single, single time. Every single time you picked one up. Yeah. Because that's going to get a little repetitive. Maybe it's only for this area. Or they're not a particularly common spawn. Oh, you missed a rupee. Oh, well. Let's see. It doesn't matter. I'll get plenty. Can't go past this. Crazy mm -hmm. Tracy. Mambo's bond. Can't go past that. And That's these, electrifying. These suckers are annoying. Because you pretty much Ooh. can't kill them. What? That's creepy. It is. A witch? A double trap, double toil and trouble. A toadstool mix makes powder for tricks. Holy shit, that was nothing but nostalgia that just hit me. Mm hmm. Oh, this is a weird feeling. This must be how you feel when you play Mist. <laughs> Except for you beat Mist. What's a game you never beat as a kid? But you what? played like a lot of. Glover. Glover. Never got past the third zone? Honestly, can't blame you. Glover seemed like a mess. And of course, anything Banjo and Banjo Kazooie will be nostalgic, but we've been able to beat them. Maybe when we're off of that wedding, I will, um. I'll finally put up my series on. Uh, let's see, what was it? Uh, Space, Space Station Silicon Valley. Oh. Because I recorded that with my brother years ago. Yeah, we've already seen that. Were you using old mics then, though? Like yeah. Yeti? Oh, yeah, the quality is going to be hella bad, and I'm going to put up a disclaimer for that, being like, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, 
I think it, that was recorded very recorded super early on. Okay, so if you I, find him, he teleports you elsewhere. Yeah, well, he's in the same place every time. He more or less just teleports us to other parts. Yeah. Uh, east. It's a lot easier to keep track of and uh without having to worry about like moving from area to area because I can actually kind of see where I'm going. Let's see. That's an interesting grass texture that they have on the ground. Mhm. Mm Okay, so I can't get past him. Maybe I do have to go this way. I just thought this was the exit. Yeah, this yeah, is the, the exit. exit. Yeah, so he's just warping us around. Uh, okay, so we can zoom in. Because Tanuki's right here. He warps us over here. Oh, so we had gotten through the forest to the other area. Yeah, there's holes there. Oh, this map is a lot easier there's to work around. There's a tube on that side as well. I'm just trying to see if there's any other place that I could oh, get yeah, the what key. If, what if you went straight up and then to the left and down? I don't know what that over is. Over here? No, 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 well, over to I the can't. left. Here? Well, I can't because the tunic is right here and he screws with he me messes, the moment. Yep, yep. Well, remember, we need powder. The witch was brewing no. a powder. Yeah, the powder is a much later thing. The thing is, we need the powder in order to get the Tanuki to sneeze so that he Wait. stops teleporting us. May no, no, no. He said his weakness was powder. Yeah, but those the powder is later. I'm 90% certain the powder is later. I'm going to go test something else. I might be... Oh. Yep, his nose is sensitive to dust and powder, and he's not going to allow you to get past. Okay. So we need to get some dust. I think I'm. I think I've actually done this wrong. Out. I think I overestimated those rocks. Because everybody's pointing out that you actually uh, do not need uh, power, power bracelet or other stuff. Like I said, it's really weird playing well, a game a that I've already played before. The solid rocks and then the fractured rocks. There is. And I don't know. Like that? Mm. Oh, you know what? It's a rock pushing puzzle. Oh wait, so those are pushable rocks? These are these are pushable. Oh, because the pushable ones in other games were always squared. Yeah. I don't know. That makes sense. Yep, there we go. Yeah. That allows you to get the You can only push it once though. Oh purple rupee. I mean, it's nice. Don't get me wrong. I think you can only push him once, though. So, wonder you're assuming a one-to-one -one translation of the old game. I think they actually were pretty... This is super faithful. I just have to remember to make no assumptions, because it is different. Okay. That down, that down, that over. You kind of locked yourself in? Sort of. You might have to approach from one angle or another. Mm hmm. Okay. Because um, ideally you get up there. Yeah, I don't remember if I can. I can't break the skulls. Oh, and you can yeah. you can lift those with the power bracelet. Must have been some ridiculous creatures. Okay, so if we can get into that top section somehow. Yeah, that's the way to get to the heart. But the thing is, you're always going to be pushing that in there, and then it locks things off. Mm -hmm. I really think it's 
if they have those skulls there, it's because you need to use the... Yeah, the... the I, I know the power bracelet is an easy shortcut, because you can lift those skulls. I'm terrible at block, the th blocks. The thing is, you can't, you can't pull the blocks, right? You can no. only push. You can only push. And you see, down there, all of those are barricaded off because there's no means to push them. So it's really just interacting with this, but... Yeah, unless you can move those skulls, there's no way. Okay, I mean, we can come back later. I really don't need a art piece immediately. Ooh, a mushroom. Yep. All right. There we go. So mushroom is for the witch. Ah. Well, she'll help us with that powder. You picked up the toadstool. As you hold it over your head, a mellow aroma flows into your nostrils. So you're right about the witch, just slightly later. I think? I was thought you got the magic powder much later, but... We can give it to her now. Yeah, I'm just going to... I'm just going to kind of play along and tr try and forget everything that I ever learned about this game. Mm -hmm. Because I don't think it, I'm actually going to do well with that. We could also visit the shop. Yeah, but let's go visit the witch. Yeah. I just... I just know there's some, like, actually decent things you can buy. Well, you haven't been needing potions and things of that nature. No, like, I think I think there's a per permanent piece of equipment you can buy from the shop. Maybe the bow or the boomerang or something. I don't think Slingshot. you can kill those guys. Yeah. Or maybe you can. You have to you have to hit them with like the magic rod or something. I think they get really pissed off at you if you powder them. Anyway. Ah, it has been it has the sleepy toadstool, it has. We'll mix it up something in a jiffy. We will. It's all ready, it is. Take care, as there's not much there. Why not try a bit in my hut? You got some magic powder. Open the sub screen with plus and set it to either X or Y. You have 20 of them, too. Ooh, looks heavier than heavy. Well, she says try oh, wait, some- wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait, The I, fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. One fire is extinguished and the other one... Ooh, nice. Good job. Use it on your enemies and see what happens. If you run out, go to the forest. Pick some toadstools and I will make you more. Come back without a toadstool and you may have to pay a price for my leftovers. It's fairly cheap. Oh, that's what's in the whirlpool. Whoa. I'm a change blob, and that's not all I have to say. Now that I have lips, I fantasize about playing one of the island songs on a flute. There are three hot local hits. All three of those blobby bops are magic, literally. Ow. No other tool do the job. Pull what? Pull out one of those songs you got stuck in your head. Okay, so he's looping. He almost looked like Clippy back there. He does have a very Clippy look. I forgot how to attack for a bit. You know the paperclip. Yep. I Man, think it's the shape of the eyes. I do not miss Clippy. <laughs> For those of you who do not know, once upon a time, there would be a tiny little paperclip that would pop on your computer screen and try to tell you. I tips. I mean, at this point, he's a common meme. 
that really? just gets shared around? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised they had such complex animations for him, too. Who? Link? No, Clippy. Oh. How he would, like, unravel himself and go around the piece of paper and blink and... Hey. There he goes. Now who's the lost one? Wait, what? Yep. Last thing I can remember is biting into a big ju juicy toadstool. Then I had the darndest dream. I was a raccoon. Yeah, it sounds strange, but sure was fun. <laughs> oh, right, because he had whole barrels full of toadstools. Now I'm all tuckered out. I think I better set a, sp uh, set a spell before I head home. Yeah. Yep. Ah. Now we can get nope. Now we can get the ah. tail key. You got the tail key. Now you can open the tail cave gate. But go over to the left. But first, what? interrupting owl. Ooh. 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 Take the key and go to the tail cave. Retrieve the instrument that's hidden there. Go now. Windfish is waiting. Ooh. It turns also a very obvious Mario reference. Mm -hmm. Looks like Mario. Also mushroom? Yep. Kaponga Swamp? Kaponga Swamp, Mysterious Forest. Oh, hey, it's another phone line. Oh, wait, got it. Yep. Aha! Bring, bring. Lyra speaking. You know, there's a library in the village that might have some good information for you. Talk to you later, Clark. We already got that. I'm gonna wander around for a little while. Danger, keep out, except Bow Wow. Bow Wow. Yeah, so we actually want to borrow uh, the Chain Chomp. So that he plows through everything? Uh, I think he eats stuff, so yep. you can go through. Oh, Oops. Watch out! Sorry, I was rubbing my eye. Mm -hmm. I've been recording too much lately, and so my eyes are kind of tired. Mm -hmm. On the plus side, this pretty much means I have nothing to record tomorrow. Well, no, I have stuff to record tomorrow, but there's nothing that I, like... It's not nearly as pressing anymore. Because yesterday, uh, tomorrow was going to be like, oh god, like three new games, and now it's like, maybe two? I should check my list. Today was four new games. That's a pain. Yep, September is very busy. Uh, so I was actually talking to a lot of, like, media people, and they're like, yeah, this, this year is, like, worse than usual. And I checked compared to, like, last year, and yeah, it's a lot worse. Huh, hmm. a monkey? How about some fishing, little buddy? Only cost you ten rupees. Okay, here's how you do it. Hold A, release to cast your line out. Long you hold it, the farther you cast. You can tug on your line by moving left stick. If you want to reel it in in a hurry, keep tapping A real quick. You got this, little buddy. I was so bad at the fishing mini game as a kid. Oh, fish are going for it. Nope. No, they're not. Reel it in a little bit. So there's a bottle down there. Oh, I see it. There you go. Oh no! Whoops, you'll get it next time, buddy. Want to keep going? Sure. The fish... Uh, but how are you going to find it in the reeds? Uh, I might also just be able to fish. Like, the fish? Oh, because the fish ate the bottle? I think there were, there were other Let's versions of the game where... Sucker. Eh. Oh, yep, you got it. Oh, what? I don't remember if Real you Reeling can... something, at the very least. I don't remember if you can actually catch the fish. Yep, oh, he likes it, he likes it, he's nibbling. Uh, he nibbled on it for an instant back there, but... Oh, 
There, there, oh. There you go. There we go, caught it. Woohoo! He looks kind of creepy. Hello. You landed a little fish. Just like you, it's small, but it has plenty of height. It's an 8.07 uh, 8 inch front. You gotta drink bigger than that. Fish like that's worth, let's see here, 11 rupees. Oh, there's something caught in the fish's mouth. Oh wow, a heart piece. Yup. Want to keep going? Yes. Yeah, let's catch the one that got your bottle. Yep. It's gonna be hard to fish. Yeah, because he's the deepest. But he's interested. Oh, oh. he's going for it. Just wait for him to come back. I can't. Oh, because the line hovered down too far? Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, we're gonna stop for a bit. Okay. Uh... Let's see. I wanna make sure we have enough for a purchase first. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that one, that one's kind of annoying because that fish is hard to see, so you don't know if it's caught on or not. Also, there's plenty of money in the, uh, the fields. But... I don't really want to spend the time on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, a secret seashell. But what do you do with it? Probably someone requires it later. Actually, what does Marin want? She's over at the cuckoo nest. I think she tells us about the, uh, like singing her a song or something. I forget. There's stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, Ocarina of Time would have been... I haven't played this game song. since I was. But uh, I don't know if there's a Pona in this. Probably not. Man, I haven't played this in a while. That is such a weird feeling. Like I almost, I never replay games, so it's strange to finally do so. 